BCTV's Roland Boyden here, set to kick off another edition of our interactive video calendar, standing in front of the video wall to spice up uh, a look at uh, this weekend's coming area events with clickable links. That's right, if you just make sure your annotations are turned on in the bottom right corner of your YouTube video viewer, for those of you watching online, That'll turn each one of these behind me into a clickable link so you can get to an organizer website. Check out the where's and when's for all these events, like the Brattleboro Film Festival, slated all across the screen here as part of their epic 14-day 30 film run, which continues through this and into next week at the Latches Theater in downtown Brattleboro with another set of screenings uh, that happen uh, every day here on this clickable calendar. Now for a complete schedule that includes trailers for those movies, a wide array of dramatic comedic Oscar contending local, national, and international films all part of the festival. You can head to their official website, Brattleboro Film Festival, all one word, dot org. I think we always had the intention of it being a bigger festival. Last year we just, we just launched it, a right. smaller thing, and it was very, very successful. So we were well on our way to having a much bigger festival this year, and, and we've really pulled it off. Now uh, we'll stick on Thursday for a moment here and take a look at 6 p.m. at Everyone's Books in downtown Brattleboro, just off of the Harmony Parking lot on Elliott Street. While well, we're getting into nitty gritty details here and uh, take a look at local author Rebecca Coffey, who's reading from her book, uh, Nietzsche's Angel Food Cake and other recipes for the intellectually famished. Now it's described by Coffey herself in her official press release for the event as foodie humor for anyone with a good liberal arts education, no matter how vaguely they might remember it. And uh, before we leave this here Thursday the 7th, we'll check in with the second annual Vermont Vision for a Multicultural Future Conference. Set to uh, run uh, the 7th through the 8th at the Grand Summit Hotel at Mount Snow in West Dover. That's uh, here with the clickable links. It's all aimed at bringing together Vermont leaders and interested parties uh, who are working to strengthen business and institutional practices for an increasingly diverse marketplace all within this great Green Mountain State and beyond. Now, uh, that's something that conference sponsors at the Vermont Partnership for Fairness and Diversity including their executive director, Curtis Reed Jr., hopes uh, will bring uh, together a wide array of innovators in fields across the Green Mountain State. And together they've provided the underpinnings uh, for the conference to take place, and as well as our continuing work. They said, you know, the conference is just two days out of, out of a year-long uh, initiative. All right, from there in the calendar, we're going to bounce all the way ahead to Tuesday, November 12th here and uh, take a look at uh, the event there that says Minding the Mind. It's from the Northeast Psycho Neuroimmunology Institute for Healing, or the Northeast PNI, as they get set to host Minding the Mind, Keeping Tabs on Your Changing Brain, a talk featuring renowned brain enthusiast Alex Potter and his ruminations on the regenerative and evolving capacity of the extraordinary organ that is your brain. Now, that's a topic that any PNI staffer, Michael Bosworth, says should play to people of any scientific background. Although, you know, there might be more emphasis on people as they are growing older, but it could be any, any age person, you know, any age person is welcome to come because I think they would find it interesting just finding out more about uh, how the brain functions and what you can do with your brain by, by just various techniques that we try to emphasize that help your, your brain to work better. Again, that talk right here on the clickable link calendar is dubbed Minding the Mind, Keeping Tabs on Your Changing Brain, and it's slated to run 7 to 8.30 p.m. this coming Tuesday, November 12th, at the Marlboro Graduate Center, across from the co-op just down the street from the Brattleboro Museum and Arts Center in downtown Brattleboro. All right, that does it for another edition of our weekly video calendar. Thanks for giving us a few minutes of your time as we stand in front of the video wall here. Still plenty of time to click each one of these links behind me as I continue to chit chat away about subscribing, YouTube, TV.org, blah, blah, blah. Just click these, that'll take you to the official organizer website, get you all the where's and when's, the details on how to get involved in each of these events. Of course, you can catch uh, all this as part of BCTV's weekly media roundup that includes headlines, our partnerships with local area organizations, uh, clips, updates from around town, and more. All jam packed into 15 minutes. Goes live on Fridays at 5 45 p.m. on BCTV Comcast Channel 8. And in the interim, we'll be putting up a bevy of web content that you can subscribe to at youtube.com slash brattlebrotv or brattlebrotv.org. Um, we'll put up a, another calendar like this one next Thursday. But in the meantime, I better sign off. I can sense that impending uh, flash of white light that'll mean the final transition out of here. So click these links uh, before uh, we run out of time here. In the meantime, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.